Welcome to the Ask a Scientist video series. In this episode, we'll talk about what a stranded RNA sequencing workflow is and why it's important for your sample analysis. RNA sequencing is the process of preparing RNA transcripts of interest for next generation sequencing to qualify and quantify results. Stranded RNA sequencing is a variation of the workflow that helps determine the DNA strand of origin from which the RNA transcript was copied. This information is important for research purposes because it helps identify specifically which transcripts are expressed or changing expression levels in experimental systems where genes on opposite DNA strands overlap. This information is not obtained from non-stranded RNA sequencing workflows. The central dogma of molecular biology suggests that, that the primary role of RNA is to carry genetic information encoded in double-stranded DNA to be translated into proteins, which then carry out biological processes and ultimately cellular functions. The first step is the transcription of RNA from the genes encoded in the DNA. Transcription is carried out by RNA polymerases. The information in the RNA is then translated into proteins via ribosomes and amino acids. Thus, by assaying the RNA present in a biological sample, we can gain insights into what is going on at a molecular level. To prepare RNA for sequencing, it must first be converted into double-stranded DNA molecules that can serve as a template for DNA polymerases during NGS library preparation. These DNA copies are called complementary DNA, or cDNA. This process involves an RNA-dependent DNA polymerase called reverse transcriptase that generates the first cDNA strand, followed by second strand synthesis carried out by a DNA polymerase. The cDNA is then used as a template for NGS library preparation. The difference with a stranded RNA sequencing library kit is that during the second strand synthesis, the strand will be marked. This can include a strategy of incorporating uracil bases into the strand. With the new double-stranded complementary DNA, the workflow will continue into the standard sequencing library preparation step of adapter ligation. After adapter ligation, amplification is used to increase the amount of sample for sequencing. After the sample is denatured during PCR cycling, the polymerase will complete the first strand, however, stall at the uracils on the second strand. This will allow the completion of the amplification of the first strand and the second strand fails to convert into a double-stranded library. During analysis, the adapter sequence orientation will help decipher which strand of the original genomic DNA the RNA transcript was copied from. To demonstrate the benefits of stranded information, we'll show how it helps with transcript coverage analysis. Here we have a section of a genomic region, and in that region we have some genes that are either on the sense strand, the blue genes, or the NTSense strand, the green genes. Arrows indicate transcription start sites of each gene and additionally which strand the gene is on. If we look at the coverage of the transcripts for these genes from a non-stranded RNA workflow, we see the coverage for all of the gene regions. However, we're left without the confirmation of which strand the gene is transcribed from. In a stranded workflow, we can see that the measurement of transcript coverage will help determine the strand orientation of the gene. Stranded RNA sequencing workflows provide more specific information about the genomic origin of RNA transcripts. This strand information is critical to retain in order to identify which genes are expressed in a biological sample if they are on opposite strands and overlap. Additionally, Keeping transcript strand information is critical to understanding differential gene expression in cases where genes overlap. This workflow is similar to the standard RNA sequencing library preparation. However, during cDNA synthesis, incorporation of uracil prevents amplification of both cDNA strands, and this allows for the adapter sequencing orientation to determine the strand from which the DNA was transcribed and the RNA transcript expressed. Thanks for watching Ask a Scientist. To learn more about RNA sequencing, visit sequencing.roche.com forward slash RNA seq. If you have any questions or ideas for future topics, we would love to hear from you.